teenager, I was living, basically living on the beach. We had a house near the beach in South Africa in a small village and I was surfing every day, spearfishing as much as I could, diving, jumping off the rocks, spending as much time as I could in the sea and on the beach. I didn't want to go anywhere else, I didn't want to do anything else, I just wanted to be in the water. The first words that came out of his mouth were, Son, I shoot from the hip. You're paralyzed and you'll never walk again. But I do know that he went through thoughts of suicide. You want to kill yourself? Go ahead. Try. Because I had my plan. My plan was to drown. And no one was going to stop me from my plan. I guess you've always seen people in chairs before, but you don't really know what, what, what's involved. and, and uh... So it's quite easy to think, oh, my life's over. Something happened, and I don't quite know what it is, but something rebooted in my system. So, and I guess the mind's more powerful than the body, really, at times. So. With the physical strength came the mental strength, and then the spiritual strength. And raising my positivity of my thought pattern, then attracted into my life, positive events, which led me to meet positive people, which led me to having positive outcomes of whatever I decided to do. The Indiana Jones on wheels. <laughs> no, he said to me, like, James, uh, can you, would you like to maybe come and help me sail this boat all the way to, to Thailand? But that's what he loves to do, and if that's the end of life, let it be. It's a complete miracle that I survived that tsunami, or that set of four waves. My life began in Bali. I, I started having a Bali life. Semangat walaupun dia tidak bisa jalan, tapi dia punya semangat ya luar biasa. Kalah seperti orang-orang kita mungkin. <laughs> I've proved to myself and to others that life doesn't have to stop because you're paralyzed.